thank you so much for joining me today. This video is my introduction for my Pan Loves Eyeshadows project for 2021. I did do a 2019 version and a 2020 version of this project and I have a playlist for each of them as well as a compilation video where I show you the progress of hitting pan on all of the eyeshadows over the course of that year. I'll have both of those linked in the description box. The person who created this project's name is Alexi. She also has two years worth of Panda's eyeshadows content. I will have that linked in the description box. A lot of people have adopted this project, so I'll try to link some other people in the description box as well. Before I talk about my pan percentage and roll the five new eyeshadows in, I did want to quickly talk about the ground rules that I'd like to set for the year. Last year I adopted the 30 use rule if I randomly chose a shadow and I didn't want to use it all the way up to hitting pan on it, I could use it 30 times and then roll it out. And I did do that a couple times for some certain shades that I liked using, but I didn't know if I wanted to use them enough times to hit pan. I'm going to keep that rule, but I'm going to move the number of uses down to 20. So if I use an eyeshadow 20 times and I want to roll it out without having to try and hit pan on it, then I can do so and bring something else in its place. Other than that, I don't have any other rules. Any eyeshadow that doesn't have pan in it already is fair game. Let's talk about pan percentage. Out of the 273 eyeshadows I own, I have 35 pans, and so that makes my pan percentage 12.8%. I'm not going to set a specific goal of how many pans I want or what percentage pan I want, just because throughout the year I imagine I will either bring in new shadows or potentially declutter some. I don't really know what the year holds, none of us do. <laughs> so I don't really want to set any hard rules or anything and just kind of see where the project takes me. To randomly generate my five shades, I do have them all listed in order in a spreadsheet and I have it organized by alphabetical order of the brand and it's also sorted by alphabetical order of the shape name and then it's sorted by whether or not it's in a palette or a single. <laughs> That's the way I like to do it and hopefully the random generator that I use is random enough and I made the minimum one and the maximum 238 which is the number of shadows I have in my collection that don't have pan. This is so exciting. Okay so I'm gonna just do all five numbers in a row and then we'll go through them one at a time. So the first one I am getting is number 219, 187, 151, 194, and 125. 125 is my other Nabla single. I have two singles from Nabla. Luna I rolled in last year and I hit pan on it and the other one I have is Interference. This is a satin shade and it's a really pretty gray color. It's pretty, it's not like the darkest gray ever. It's kind of like a mid-toned gray. It has a little bit of like maybe a purpley undertone. The next shade is 194 and that is from my Too Faced Natural Lust palette and it's in the shade Peacocking, which I'm pretty sure is the blue shade. I was right, it's the one blue shade in the palette. <laughs> so yeah, it's got a little bit of a darker base and then the reflect is a bluey green color. That's really pretty. The next shade I rolled was 151 and that is a Sydney Grace single in the shade Red Chameleon. This is a beautiful shade. I just talked about this recently in my 2020 favorites video and I did a look featuring the shade I think in that same video where I used red chameleon and some more like purpley mauve shades in the crease. These are going really well together so far. The next one I got is 187 and that is another Too Faced shade. It's actually from the Natural Lust palette again and it's in the shade Love Spark. So that is another shimmer shade and it's this one right here. It's just um, like a typical champagne-y gold color. It does require a little bit of building but that's a really nice like everyday all over the lid shade. And it's actually a very compact combination so far because I have two singles that I can put in this little palette and then I have two shades from the same palette. And so instead of having like five different palettes in my makeup drawer, I just have two right now. All right, and the very last shade is 219 that's towards the bottom and what do you know it's another Too Faced shade but this time I think it's from the Natural Nudes palette. Ooh, Warm Rose it's this one right here in the middle it's that matte shade it's beautiful I really do love the pinky mattes from this palette this is great super pigmented if you can't tell 
So those are my five shades I'll be playing with. I love this color combination. You have a couple pops of color. You have some really nice everyday colors. Uh, that warm rose, I can already see myself just wearing that like all over the crease and lid and on the lower lash line just for like a really warm eye look. And I already know I really love Red Chameleon. I'm glad to be reaching more for that Natural Lust palette. I got a lot of palettes around the same time, so I feel like that Natural Lust palette kind of got pushed to the wayside a little bit. And I'm also just really glad to have only these three to keep in my makeup drawer. That's really awesome. Singles can be difficult to hit pan on, so that Interference shade and that Red Chameleon shade will probably be a little more difficult. I already know Warm Rose will take a long time to hit pan on because I tried to hit pan on Cocoa last year and that took forever. So we'll see. I'm very excited about it though. It, it feels so good to have like a fresh quintet to play with. So that's my intro for the Project Pan. I will try to have all of my updates out at the very beginning of the month. And in future updates, I'll show you looks that I create with them. I'll talk about changes in pan percentage. I'll talk about the number of times I used each of them over the month and just my general thoughts on the shades and the looks that I created. Let me know if you're doing a Panless Eyeshadows project. I'd love to come check it out if you're doing it on Instagram or YouTube. I really love watching these types of videos. I just type in Panless Eyeshadows in YouTube and I watch all the ones that I can find. <laughs> I do have a couple other Project Pan introductions coming your way so stay tuned. But in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!